guys, so for this last assignment in 205, um, we had to make a PMT interest rate for a scenario such as um, borrowing money from a bank for graduate school. Um, so what these numbers represent is the amount of loan represents $150,000 and that's what we're going to be borrowing from the bank. Um, the annual interest rate is going to be 5.8%. And then the number of payments is going to be 120, which basically means that you're going to have about 10 years to pay the bank back. Um, the monthly payment is $1,650.28. And basically how you get that is a special formula. I have a Mac, so it's going to be a little bit different, um, but it still works the same. I'm going to click on that and show you the formula, which is called PMT. So you're going to do an equal sign and then PMT. And what you're going to do is you're going to take D2, which is the annual interest rate, 5.8%, and you're going to divide that by 12. Next, you're going to do the number of payments, D3, which is 120. And then you're going to subtract 150000 from that to get the monthly payment. So now that we have that, I will show you how I got all of these numbers. Um, basically, I just split it into five categories. Um, you get each number a little bit different, so I'm going to start with the payment, um, or the number actually. All you have to do for the number column is type in the first few numbers, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take, like I said, I have a Mac, so it's going to be a little bit different on an Excel or, I mean, a, on a PC, there would usually be a little black cross on this bottom right corner right here and what you would do is you just take that and drag it all the way down and it will continue the sequence for however long you'd like. Um, for the payment, all I did was go up here and press copy and then paste it right here and do the same thing. You would just grab it and take it all the way down and it continues the sequence. For the interest, what I did is um, or what your what how to get the interest? I'm sorry, is to take your balance, which is 150,000, and you're going to multiply that by 5.8 percent. So when you get that, you're going to get 870,000. So when you're when you get that total number, you're going to divide by 12. And then you come out with $725, which is what I have right here. So to get the interest, again, you're going to do $150,000. And you're going to multiply it by the interest rate. And then you're going to divide it by 12. Next, for the principal, all you do is you just strictly um, subtract $725 from the payment. So you're going to do $1,650.28 minus $725 and you're going to get $925.28. And finally, to get the balance, what you're going to do is you're just going to take the original total that we had, the loan, $150,000, and you're going to subtract $925.28, and that will give you $149,074.72. Now, to get these numbers underneath all the way down to 120 payments, all you're going to do is basically the same concept as we did over here. You're just going to take it and you're going to go down one and then it will it'll change automatically instead of going all the way down. So as you can see, each number goes up by just a little bit until you get to zero. So that's it. Thank you for watching.